Earlier today, we took a look at Street Fighter units in RTA. However, we did not get a chance to take a look at every single Street Fighter units. Namely, we took a look at the Light and Dark chun Lees. We took a look at some of the Ryus, but we didn't get to take a look at the Dalsims or the Bisons. There's no one, no one's using Dalsims. Uh, however, there is someone using a Dark Bison, so I thought, what a great opportunity to take a look at the Dark Bison in the element, which he should be the best at. So let's take a look at some of those matches now. So this is the guy using the Dark Bison in RTA Lock. I believe he's on the Europe server. Light Hope, I think, is one of the top European guilds. Um, and he's using kind of in a, like, not a control comp, not a cleave comp, just like a mid-range comp. He's got some sustain on it. It's got some control on it. It's got a couple different things. Nice resistance. So off to a off the, f first, uh, first attack off to a great showing, right? So, uh, get some bombs on. Bombs don't do a crazy amount of damage. He gets some... <laughs> gets some defense breaks on. So, uh, Malaka did more defense breaks than the, uh, than the Ethna did. Maybe Ethna doesn't have very high accuracy. Is it 100% chance? I don't even know if it's 100% chance to actually land that, uh, defense break for Ethna. So, not do it. Those bombs are not doing a crazy amount of damage. But generally, in RTA, the DP... A lot of times, unless you're doing a cleave... If you're not doing a cleave, the DPS units generally are not super crazy DPS heavy, right? So sometimes those bombers, especially like, you don't really see Malaka too much, but usually the light, bo uh, the light bomber, you usually see him uh, more of a hybrid build than you would for like arena offense. So right now we're not really seeing too much of what the Dark Bison can actually do. We're not really seeing too much of what the Dark Bison can do. Eventually he's going to... Provoke things, maybe. Dark Bison, match two. So he's going in with a whole bunch of sustain. A whole bunch of everything. Heal, heal, heal. Uh, and a lot of sustain. He's going up against the cleave, though. Uh, so he banned the ignore defense, Lucian. Uh, he's still going to take a decent amount of damage. However, there's some glancing hits that happen uh, with the Shimite. And he's got those artifacts going to do a nice amount of damage, too. However... Big heal with the Praha, right? So big heal with the Praha, and everything goes to sleep aside from the one unit that had immunity on him. Uh, and then you know what? You know why I'm actually not familiar with this uh, Okeanos with the new tr with, with this transmog? Is it actually uh, an RTA transmog? So no one got it until today. So now we uh, strip all the buffs. So much sustain. So basically, this 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 team that they're using. Um, the control team, if they don't have a really strong turn one, there's so much sustain on Locke's side that he, like, they, they really can't do anything after that. I mean, they can, but it's kind of unlikely that they do, uh, anything after that. So, if you take, if you took a look, he provoked the, uh, look at this, he, he, he provokes the units, and then anytime they hit him... His attack age increases, and then he just provokes, basically the whole strategy with the Dark Bison is he just provokes whoever has the highest attack age. So, he, he seems to be doing a, a little bit of damage on him, though. Increased attack age, increased attack age. He missed the provoke there, though. I don't believe it's a 100% chance on that skill 1 provoke, anyway. I think it's somewhere between 70 to 90%, something like that, with that skill 1. But, you kind of got to see a little bit of the provoke and then he gets a turn and then he provoke again and then gets a turn and provoke again so that was actually not bad to see what the dark bison can do so far let's keep uh let's keep taking a look at other uh, other matches again facing another kind of cleave team so bans the shengpeng and there's a whole lot of turn cycling on that team though whole lot of turn cycling diana may this may be a definite diana game right so we've got the cc on the praha more turn cycling, more turn cycling. I don't know if he's going to have enough damage to kill everything. Is he going to... Okay, so he gets the defense breaks, but on wind units. Now he goes for the... Ki oh, he doesn't go... I thought he was going to go for the uh, Water Ryu, actually. So he didn't go for the Water Ryu. He went for the... Uh... You know why he went for that? Because that's going to be some more crazy turn cycling nonsense. So here comes the provokes. Increase attack age. And then he goes for, he doesn't go for the uh, Ryu, he goes for the Tableau. Increase attack age, goes for the Ryu. Increase attack age, here we go. Here we go, this is fantastic. Another great thing, you know what, I didn't even realize this at first, but the Diana plus 
The Provokes with the Dark Bison is a fantastic combination. And then additional turns, and additional turns. Okay, so we're going to see uh, if he can make some crazy stuff happen with this. Resistance. But he gets another turn. So. And I think Revenge is actually good on this Dark Bison as well. So he just provokes whatever has the highest attack age is the best thing to provoke with him. More turns. And this is, this is why I wanted to see him in RTA because I think that this is the best place for him to shine. Look at all this attack age increase. Look at that not landing his provoke and then getting stunned. So he's kind of weak to dying. He's kind of... <laughs> Most units are weak to dying. Um... Weak to dying, weak to uh, Juno, because Juno will just cleanse the Provoke off. Uh, weak to CC, but generally units are weak to those things. Is he? No, no, he heals as part of his passive too, right? I believe he heals as part of his passive. He's not on Vampire. No, 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 he's definitely not on Vampire, because we saw him Violent Prog. Yeah, he's Violent Prog again. Increased stack age again, goes for Tableau. Additional turn, goes for uh, Bastet. Increased deck age again. Yeah, the, the, the healing is part of his passive. This is fantastic. This is exactly why I was, I was like, we, we, we got to see how this guy actually does when he's in RTA. This is a great showing of this Dark Bison because he's doing exactly what he was supposed to do. And this may be the most exciting because we didn't really see too much with the... Uh, we saw some uh, cool stuff with the Dark Ryu. But this is a little bit more uh, a little bit mo more nasty here than we probably were expecting. Another kind of mid-range cleave. Well, it, it started out to be a cleave and it's continuing to be a cleave. Okay, so another kind of cleave comp. Bans the Daphnis. So he's going to with the same kind of like sustain with like a little bit of control stuff in there. So... He's got two things to kill. He's going to do the bomb to Triana. Triana takes some damage and then ignores defense. And now let's see some craziness. So we got a uh, we got a provoke on the Molly. Get some CC on the Odin. Odin dies. Increase tech H. Provoke on the Bastet. Okay. Passing time. Gets some crits. Doesn't get glanced. Now some AoE defense breaks. Gets an additional turn. Did not provoke the Ciara, unfortunately. So. Does he get another... Well, he's not going to get another turn before Ciara moves. Could not take the Molly down. Okay. So, Curse of the Beautiful. He doesn't get a glancing hit, though. So that's not bad. Goes for the kill on the Odin. And now, we're going to see. We're, we're, we're going to see how annoying this can uh, potentially be again. So far, so good. So far, we saw some uh, some decent stuff with it. Gets an additional turn. Uh, yeah, and then after that, he just he's going to cycle way too many turns. As long as he gets his actual provokes up. And then also, the Ethno was going to do a decent amount of damage with those defense breaks. There's, uh, well, the Basta had defense breaks too, but maybe he just uh, conceded because the Ethna. Well, because he didn't want to get Dark Bison. Sees the Bastet first pick, just goes for the Dark Bison and some Counter Cleave units with the Molly and the Vigor. Fairly standard uh, Counter Cleave. Also, if you're picking the Molly and the Vigor, you could just pick the uh, Vertiheal with, uh, with no worries there. But the Bastet's followed up by a whole bunch of things that I was not expecting Bastet to be followed up with. So he gets the Provoke onto the Praha, gets an additional turn, goes for Praha again. That Bastet finally gets a turn. Well, the, the Vertiheal, right? So. Get some uh, cleanses. So let's see how he plays this. Uh, I just care about the Dark Bison. I just care about how he's playing the Dark Bison, right? And Vertiheal also is a, a, is a nice uh, counter to the Light Paladin because it's going to get so... It's just going to cycle so many turns that it's going to naturally take some of those Provokes off. So we have Provoke uh, LD Provoke Unit versus LD Provoke Unit. And even though they had a uh, heal, uh, heal block, they still went for the uh, skill 3 heal because they wanted to CC the enemy team with that Praha. So now they're just going to go for the monkey like 5,000 times. Gets a violent proc, so Bastet's on violent. Psycho Crusher into a provoke on the monkey. I didn't even realize that attack power broke. I just always think about that as a, uh, and more turns as a uh, second provoke skill. I just wish he had something else for, I, I, I wish the Bisons in general had something more than a, just a provoke for their second skill. But, seems to be doing well for the Dark Bison, however it's, it's his passive that's doing the, uh, 
his his passive is doing everything, right? So provoke, provoke, provoke on everything. So increase attack age. However, he was stunned. So stun is a uh, stun skill one is very nice into uh, the dark bison from what it looks like. Yeah, stun, stun, stun. So that is uh that's looking like that's that's currently a nice way to counter the dark bison is just to uh, stun him or not take any of those provokes or like uh, Juno, right? So a couple counters in here or a couple counters that we've uh, that we've seen today so far, but he seems to be doing better than. Better than we thought he was going to do. Better than I thought he was going to do anyway. Maybe you guys thought he was going to do fantastic, but uh, I was questioning. I was like, is he going to do fantastic? Is he going to be, is he going to shine in Arte? Is it, is he really going to show what he's made of? Or, Bastard Violent Proc. And, um, it's weird to see a Bastard Violent Proc. Because I just have, uh, I just have mine on Swift, so. Yep, and then that's, I mean, that, that was, I feel like that was already game. Because they had the sustain with the Bastet either way, but I feel like that was uh, already game. Molly and uh, Molly and Vigors got a whole lot of sustain on there. Dark Bison first pick, not even worried. Just going for the Dark Bison, Dark Bison, Dark Bison. So he's going for a little bit more uh, aggression with that Daphnis pick, right? But he's definitely he's definitely susceptible to all this control here, unless he doesn't actually land these skill two. So, Daphnis is going to come in. Is Daphnis going to do enough damage to kill? I assume he's going to hit Ciara, right? Let's see how much damage the Ciara bomb does, and then we'll know how the uh, Ciara is ruined. Well, I guess the Ciara doesn't have any uh, doesn't have any buffs, so it doesn't really matter. He's not going to go for Ciara. So, get some not CCs, but at least the additional damage from those artifacts uh, was enough. He felt. So takes the Ethan down. Gets a provoke. Another provoke. Okay. So so now we'll see we'll see if it's truly some craziness. Let's see. Resists the uh, reset. Gets another turn. Provoke. Onto the Okeanos now. Okay, so Fran can cleanse one of those. She cleanses Ciara. Ciara doesn't get the Yep, yeah, and there there we go, the bomb onto the uh, the Dark Bison. Gets a Vroke, gets another turn. Gets uh, stunned. Healing music, okay. So now he's got, he, well, it, wait. Who's gonna move next? Is Fran gonna move next? Let's see if Dark Bison, so okay, so Fran, uh, Fran does move next. Unfortunately, immunity definitely shuts him down, right? Pretty hard, immunity shuts any control unit down. He's just a single target control unit. He's a turn cycling uh, single target control unit though. So, immunity shuts him down. Juno shuts him down. Skill 1 CC. It's got to be skill 1 CC, though, that shuts him down. Now he's going for a much more aggressive comp. He's got uh, three damage dealers, and he has a Dark Bison. So, let's see how the Dark Bison does. He strips. He resets the Daphnis. And then what does he do? Because there's still two units on immunity. So, Dark Bison can potentially go just crazy. Dark Bison can go do some fantastic things against these Beast Riders. Let's see if he provokes everything. So he provokes two Beast Riders. That's pretty big. That means he's going to cycle a good amount of turns. Let's take a look. He goes for uh, Ganymede next. Cycles another turn. He's basically the whole strategy to just go for whoever has the highest attack age. And just starts going crazy. Just starts playing solo monster. Uh, that he can just solo every single... I mean, we'll see. We'll see how much he solos. But look at that. That's nasty. That's not, I mean, he's got counters, but it's kind of similar to, like, the Ona, the, uh, the Leona thing is, like, if you see it on defense, you're like, oh, I'll just use a defense break or ignore defense or bombs or Lucian or Bulldozer or something like that. But then when you see it in RTA, you're like, crap, was I prepared for this, right? So, yeah, look at this. Look how nasty this is. That's fantastic. Okay, skill two. Does the Barbara kill this Dark Bison? No, Dark Bison gets a turn, provokes the Barbara, so she can't use, uh, and then he also gets another additional turn. This is slaying a really solid RTA comp of double Beast Riders. That was a fantastic showing of the Dark Bison. This is, uh, this is probably the most underrated unit of these Street Fighter units, and this is kind of what I was... I, I was concerned, I was like, is this going to be the most under, or, or is this going to be underrated? Are we going to really see it shine in RTA? 
or is this just gonna be uh, meh, not that exciting? And it turns out that this is actually where it shines. This is where this Dark Bison shines, is this RTA. He's not for like arena offense, arena defense, he's not for dungeons, he's not for any of that stuff. He's for RTA. That is, that is the Dark Bison is good for RTA. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to show this because I saw it um, and I thought it was really cool and he's actually, Locke is playing it really, really well. So I think this is how it's, uh, for the most part, I think this is how it's supposed to be played. Is you just hit the thing with the highest attack age and just turn cycle like crazy. And I think it's fantastic to see this is looking like it's, I was disappointed with the Dark, well, I wasn't really disappointed with the Dark Reef because I still think that we didn't quite see him at his full potential just yet. But this Dark Bison, I'm very excited to see that he's actually going to be a part of the meta because he's looking fantastic so far. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you as always in the next one.